boom. One shot. One shot. Level one, people. We did one shot the Dark Brotherhood assassin. That is just, this thing is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, our journey for the strongest short blade in Morrowind. And, and yes, I mean the absolute strongest blade that we can find in the base game, including DLCs, begins in the town of Aldrun. And as always, we need to head our way to the local Silt Strider. And from there, we will head to the wonderful, wonderful city of Nissus. And once we are in Nissus, we're going to make our way over to Fort Darius at the edge of town. And then we are going to start making our way uh, southwest-ish, cutting across the river over here as we will begin our search for the sixth house base of Mamea, as that is where our artifact will reside. So here is Fort Darius. Across the way, we can see Phalos Ancestral Tomb. That will be a good indicator of the direction we need to go. So let's hop in the water, see if any slaughterfish decide to ruin our day here. Nope. Oh, <laughs> whoa, none. Holy crap. <laughs> did Todd Did Todd hear me talking smack in the How to Spear video? Todd was watching my last video and heard me complaining about the slaughterfish. He must have decreased the spawn rate overnight, I think. That's pretty hysterical. But anyways, as we're making our way down the road here behind Falas Ancestral Tomb to Mamea, what I'll mention now are some of the other most damaging short blades in the game. Now, what most people know as the most damaging short blade is going to be the Daedric Wakazashi, as its high base damage combined with its large enchantment pool, once custom enchantments are applied, will actually make the Daedric Wakazashi, the most powerful weapon for Shortblade. Oh lord, what is this? A storm of freaking Kigaudi. What is... What? Hold on, hold on. Come on. One, two. All right, one down. Let's go. Two more, two more. They must not be fans of enchantments. I started started speaking about the enchantments. I get freaking mobbed over here. Okay. All right, where where was I? Uh, so highest damages in the game for Shortblade. With custom enchantments, Daedric Wakazashi is going to be the most damage you can possibly get. Now, if you're only looking at base damage, no enchantments, the Goblin Sword is actually going to be the highest damage that you can possibly get, but just by a small hair for the item that we are going to see today, and including the enchantments that are on this item, it is far and away the highest damage that we can get from any short blade in the entire base game. So here we are, we have arrived now at Mamea, the Sanctum of Awakening. A good way to tell where you are is by looking out across at the Daedric Ruins over there. If you do see those, you are in the neighborhood of Mamea, as it's kind of tucked away on this little hill over here, so it is easy to miss. So be sure to use those Daedric Shrines over there as a nice landmark for you to orient yourself by. But on top of that, let me go ahead, flash the map here so you can see where we are. As a good marker, there is Nissus. So as you can see, we've gone slightly south and west over here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get the best short blade in the entire game. Now we are going to have to fight our way through the base. This is a level one character. Uh, so I have not cleared this out yet as part of the main quest when clearing out our shrines. Oop, there's a couple freaking guys. I wondered why these guys were always naked. Okay, I know I've said this before, but wh what are you doing? Come on. You think you're gonna guard Dagoth in your damn birthday suit? Like, that's... The, w there's so much good armor in Morrowind. Like, why isn't Dagoth kidding these guys out with Daedric armor? You think that his, you know, army of the damned or whatever would, would be a little more effective if they weren't dying in three hits from everything. See, this guy at least had the right idea. What was this? Steel Curious, okay, he knows what he's doing, right? He knows that the way of the warrior is not to run around naked in battle. That is only the Nords. That is not a Dunmer thing to do, all right? But let's, uh, let's move down here, and you'll see the small shiny key. And what this is going to do is just make our uh, adventures through Mamea a little bit easier, allow us to unlock the doors without having to worry about our unlock spells or wasting long picks or any of that good stuff. Oh, we have an Ash Slave here taking some damage, taking some damage. Die, die. Okay, thank God. All right, let's keep moving. All right, and once we're in, let's go ahead and move to the left here uh, on the Shrine of Pitted Dreams. I'm going to grab a heal as well. Little low. 
and the destruction magic from the Ash Slaves is a problem because we are playing our level one character that we made in the How to Spear video. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. It's a lot of fun build, but as any level one character, our weakness is to magic. Hopefully we can just deal enough damage. There we go, that it's not a problem. And these dreamers and zombies, I mean, they stand no chance. Look at that. <laughs> Once we've cleared this area out, there's nothing up there. No need to go that way. Uh, so that was the door we came through. Let's come right across the way. Pop it open. Slap a Dunmer in the face with a halberd. Boom. Now once he is done and off to a permanent dreamland, I guess the dreamer is kind of an apt title now, we can keep heading down this way. Oh, Ash Slave. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's be mobile, be quick, be nimble. Try and use that cover here, use the wall. Oh, come on, he shoots so fast, oh my god. Man, why is doing everything at level one? It makes the game so much harder. <laughs> come on, come on, land, land. Use the reach, use the reach of the spear. There we go, whew. Okay, I got so nervous there. Look at our health. Oh my god. All right. Well, here we are in Mame with the demon witch Zula felled here at our feet, but that's not what we're here for. Zula is a second-rate wizard. She didn't watch the How to Mage video. That was her freaking problem. But that doesn't matter because the item that we're here after does not care how good of a wizard you are. In fact, this item doesn't care if you're a good warrior, a good archer, a good person, right? It does not know how much you donated to charity or didn't. It only cares that you want to hurt people and do it really fast. So let's hop up here on our trough and you will see the Fang of Henecht Namet, a short blade with a chop 11 to 20, slash 11 to 20, and a thrust of 13 to 30 with a value of 32 thousand gold and a cast wind strikes shock damage 20 to 40 points for one second on touch ladies and gentlemen this is the most powerful short blade in base morrowind so let's go ahead and grab it here and you can even take that daedric face of inspiration for a little bit of extra gold when you go and see the creeper or the mud crab merchant the next time but let's go ahead i'll open the inventory and tell you a little bit about this weapon because looking at it here in our hand you can see it's kind of this weird texture it almost looks like it blends in with this kind of sandstone look of the caverns here in Mame. but this is not actually a stone of any kind in fact the fang of Heinect Namet is indeed bone and very very deadly bone at that so boom Look at that. That was probably a little bit of overkill for the dreamer. <laughs> I guess even though our short blade's really low because we did the how to spear guide, we have 115 agility, so we're pretty good at hitting people. Oh, and his friend wants some too. Hold on. There we go. Boom. Done. <laughs> that's that, that's the power of 20 to 40 shock damage. Let me tell you. Your life's end. Oh god, and we rested and now we got the dark brotherhood. Okay, this will be a good example. Boom. One shot. One shot. Level one, people. We did one shot the Dark Brotherhood assassin. I'm not even a short blade user. That is just, this, this thing is insane. But that being said, as I was mentioning before, the Fang of Henecht Namet is not a traditional weapon. What it is in the lore is actually the tooth of a beast called a Wamasu that lives in Black Marsh. They're essentially a land dragon, if you want to think of them that way. And the Fang of Henecht Namet was indeed a real Fang, the Fang of the legendary Wamasu that was slain by the Northern Men. So uh, it's not really explained if this is Nords that somehow ended up in Black Marsh, but there was a legendary Drake or Wamasu that was slain in Black Marsh. A tooth was ripped from its skull and the most deadly short blade in all of Morrowind was forged in its place and oh my god that is a Dagoth he followed me oh my god oh I think we must have aggroed him when we went to get the key okay we have no health okay oh, we'll, we'll kill him one second let me let me at least get some health back all right all right now now let's try it I, I I don't feel comfortable doing that at five HP let's try it with a full health bar let's see if we can pull it off 
with our not short blade using Argonian and a short blade. Oh god, that hurt. Okay, come on. Oh! Okay, okay. For the sake of the showcase, I'm gonna use console commands to put this guy's short blade at 50, because if you're using this, I'm assuming you're a short blade character. My guy, his short blade is 10, because he didn't even take it as a minor skill. Okay, so I've come into the other room, got attacked by the Dark Brotherhood again, killed him in one hit, and now you can see that our short blade is at 50 here. So, normal run-of-the-mill short blade, let's try this now. Alright, Dagoth, prepare to meet your maker. Okay. We just need to land our hits. That's literally it. Oh, we're doing good damage. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yes. So first attempt with a, you know, a acceptable short plate skill. I think we can give that a pass. And what do we get for this? We get a six south amulet value 2000 and the soul ring. Holy crap. Cast when used. Dispel 1 to 20% on self. Fortify Magicka 10 to 20 for 30. Fortify Health 10 to 20 for 30. Resist Shock 10 to 20 for 30. And Resist Paralysis 10 to 20 for 30 all on self. So another nice little artifact that you can throw in your backpack uh, when you're leaving with the best short blade in the entire game. So ladies and gentlemen, go out and get this, which is unequivocally the best short blade in the base game for any class that is going to want to use it without breaking into those custom enchantment worlds. So if your character is not an enchanter, this is as good as it gets. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.